Okay, so there's a couple changes you might have noticed. Um, I changed my name. I am now Words and Stuff because I do use a lot of words and stuff. So today's video is just going to be kind of a quick author spotlight kind of a thing. I have been making my way slowly but surely down the list of books written by Susanna Kearsley. So I thought that I would kind of just show you what I've read and give a quick little review for each of them and hopefully you like it and it sparks your interest because Susanna Kearsley is fantastic and I have yet to read a book by her that I didn't like. So the very first book by Susanna Kearsley that I read was The Rose Garden. Now I gave this five stars on Goodreads. This book is beautiful. It, if you have any kind of interest in Outlander or at least stories of a similar nature, then you would actually probably really like The Rose Garden. It is the story about a woman who, without giving too much away, is going through a really great loss in her life. And so she kind of goes to a place where as a child she was happy and when she's there she reconnects with old friends and in the process starts to time travel and again without giving away too much it just presents a really lovely love story and but it's more than that it becomes a story about you know finding yourself after loss and finding your family and friends and people you didn't think you could so the rose garden is just oh it was so good I cried but it was like happy tears the you know the good kind of tears um, I, I loved it so much I had my mom read it and my mom like rarely reads books let alone books that I recommend but she also really liked it um, so yeah the rose garden has got five stars oh god I dropped it I dropped it <laughs> so the next one that I read was named of the dragon now, this one might have actually gotten four stars. I can't remember. It was either four or five. The only reason why was because it kind of took a little long to get into the plot of the story. Um, but like I said on Goodreads, actually, the fact that it took so long that I kept reading, kind of, to me, that's why it got the four stars. It might have even have gotten five. I honestly can't remember. Um... But I was still really, really invested in these characters, despite the fact that, yes, it was taking kind of long to get into the plot. Um, I was really, really invested in these characters. I just, their everyday lives are fascinating to me. Um, so I, I definitely really liked Named of the Dragon. It's not my favorite one I've read so far, but it's still really, really good, and I still recommend it. Um, this one is about a publisher, or no, actually, I think she's an editor. I think I'm wrong on both accounts. I think she's an agent. Oh my god. I think she's an agent. I think. Pretty sure. Yes, she is an agent. She is an agent. I remember now. So she is an agent, a literary agent. And she, um, I think it was like a few years prior to the start of the story, her, she had a, a baby that died. And I'm not saying anything that's on the back of the book. So she had a child that died, and so she, that's a loss that she has continued to struggle with since it happened, as to be expected. And um, so she goes on vacation with one of her clients, who's also a friend. And this, this book actually ties into a lot of Arthurian mythology, which is one of my favorite uh, mythologies. This is bothering me. There's like a piece of hair on my bookshelf. Okay, it's gone now. So yeah, this ties into Arthurian mythology and... Um, it's just really, really good, and it, it all ties in together very well, I think, by the end of the story. Like I said, this one kind of takes a little longer to get into, so if slower plots really aren't your thing, uh, then you might not like Named of the Dragon, but I still highly recommend it because I still really liked it. And yeah, so that's Named of the Dragon. I think it got four or five stars, somewhere in between. Um... By the way, can we just talk about these covers? These covers are so pretty, and they all match so well on my shelf. Ugh, I love them. So the next one that I read was Mariana. Um, this got five stars for sure. This one would have gotten 12 stars if I could have. 
This made me cry ugly tears, both happy tears and sad tears, so just forewarning. Um, I don't even know how to go about this story without completely spoiling it. But basically, this is about a love that refuses to die. And make of that what you will. Make your guesses or your hypotheses. Hypothesi? I think it's hypothesi. Who knows? Make your educated guesses as you will from that. What does it say? Okay, so the, the little tagline says, Some lives are worth reliving. So, I mean, I think you can guess what Mariana is in fact about. <laughs> it's really hard for me to tell because I have a little thing holding my camera up and it blocks half my camera, so I can't tell if you can see this, but I know you can. It's just I can't, and it's bothering me. So, anyway, Mariana was, oh my gosh, there are no words. Mariana hurt me so much, but in a really good way. Um, oh, just, just read it. Just, just read this book. It was beautiful and terribly sad, but terribly happy. So, with a cryptic review such as what I've just given you, I think you should read Mariana and see for yourself and see why I couldn't spoil it for you. Now, the last one I read is called The Splendor Falls. Now, this one is a little bit different than the other Susanna Kearsley books I've read. The other Susanna Kearsley books I've read, the air just came on. They are kind of... Um, like magical realism, there's always a sense of fantasy to those books. Now with Splendor Falls, the Splendor Falls was kind of more of a mystery than anything else, I think. But still, the Splendor Falls, I think, was my favorite, which is saying something because of how much I've loved every book from her. But the Splendor Falls, this made me cry, the ugly tears, the sad tears, the I can't believe I'm alive at this moment in time tears. Um, so, so good. I think I'm actually going to see if my mom wants to read this one, too, because I really think she would like this one. Um, I say, um, so much. I really wish there was a word that we could substitute for um without it being, like, an awkward pause. See, that's worse. Awkward pause is worse than um. I'm sticking with um. The Splendor Falls, uh, is, um, is about this girl well, this woman, I keep saying girl like they're 10. They're not. They're women. They're like in their 30s. Um, it's about this woman who goes on a trip with her cousin who kind of just mysteriously vanishes. He's not there. He is looking for this treasure. That was why he wanted to go. There's somewhere in France. I can't pronounce it because I'm weird, you know. I am unable to pronounce things. Anyway, they go to France. Her cousin never shows up, but it's not unexpected of him. He kind of makes a habit of not doing what he says he's going to do, so she's not really surprised. Um, and recently, the hotel she's staying at, someone just died there. Someone under, like, mysterious circumstances. They don't know if it was suicide, if it was an accident, or if he was pushed. So she kind of finds herself in the middle of this murder mystery, and now she's trying to, you know adjust because her cousin's not there so she has to kind of figure things out for herself she's in this unfamiliar place but she's on vacation so she's making the best of it um but yeah like I said she finds herself in the middle of this murder mystery and now just the fact that her cousin is kind of not showing up just kind of starts playing on her imagination or she thinks or maybe it's not I don't know I'm not spoiling it uh this one was my favorite one though I could not put this down I think I read this in a day or less than, uh, which is saying something because I work, so it's really hard for me to do that. Um, but yeah, The Splendor Falls, Susanna Kearsley, just, oh my god, this book. This also got five stars, for sure, by the way, on Goodreads. Um, my Goodreads reviews are a little more detailed because obviously I write those like fresh off of me reading them. I, I finished this a couple like two weeks ago or a week ago or something like that, so it's it's not quite as fresh. Um, but yeah, I just each book of hers has impacted me in such a way that once I finish it, I kind of just sit there for like a day or two in like this stupor of uh, not even bliss because it's more like 
usually it's like this life changing moment. I finish the book and then I'm like, oh, oh my God, it was so good. And I kind of just sit there for a day wondering what to do with my life. And so usually I just end up picking up another Susanna Kearsley book, which I did. I'm in the middle of reading The Winter Sea right now. And then I actually have one on the way to my house, which is called Every Secret Thing, I think. And there's a couple more I still have to get. I kind of get them progressively. They're taking up so much room on my shelf, which is really bad because I just reorganized all my shelves when I reorganized my room. So I already think I'm going to have to do like an unhaul pretty soon just because I need to make room for all these Susanna Kearsley books. Uh, yeah. So this is my Susanna Kearsley collection as thus far. That's not true because I have the Winter Sea over there, but I'm still reading that one. So I'm not going to put that in the video because that would be weird. I hope you liked this quick video. It's quicker than, I think, I hope it'll be quick. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done editing yet for it. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for uh, historical fiction or modern day fiction with historical ties or something different or something great or <laughs> something that falls along the lines of a genre you're already familiar with, then I definitely recommend Susanna Kearsley. Her books are fantastic. Like I said, I haven't read one that I didn't like. And that's saying something, because normally I come across, you know, books and I'll like one book but not the next, or I'll like aspects of one book and aspects of another, but I never wholly like the whole, fully like the whole book. Uh, that is not the case with Susanna Kearsley. All of her books are fantastic. I do hope this video has encouraged you to read some of her books. And I hope you enjoyed this video in general. If you did, you should like and subscribe because I love when people do that. And okay, I hope you all have a great day. I will see you later. Bye.